Why, hello, my friends. Welcome back to Evolve. How are you all doing today? Hopefully great. Hopefully fantastic. Hopefully it made you smile a little bit to see this beautiful, big behemoth boy show up in your sub box. His gorgeous, gorgeous mug, those perfect teeth on the thumbnail, just making everybody feel a little bit better. How has your week been? Today I want to talk about uh, if Evolve came out now, like today, like here in July 2019, would Evolve have failed? Do you think that if Evolve came out now, it would have met the same fate that it met releasing years ago? Now, there's a couple of ways of looking at this, I think, and I definitely want to hear your full take in the comments down below, so make sure to, to, to give it to me. Um, one is that, yes, it would have still failed because the issue with the game is that there wasn't enough content and that the type of game just didn't fit a $60 package and it still would have failed. And and the other is, no, it wouldn't have failed because now people are much, much more used to DLC, battle passes, microtransactions, cosmetics, and multiplayer games with different spins. And so it would have been totally okay and and thrived more. Because remember, Evolve sold super good initially. It wasn't an issue that people didn't think the, the concept and the idea was cool. It's just that in the execution and in the gameplay extending beyond the initial launch window, whether it was the DLC plans, or the game itself, or a mix, it, it just all went wrong. And I think there's a third take that we'll get to, kind of a, a hidden third take that we'll get to uh, later on in the video. But let's, let's start with, yes, it still would have failed. And there's games as of late that have me thinking, hmm, maybe this is the right approach. Maybe this is what would have happened. Because Evolve does not include a, a true single player. Really at all. Really at all. It had, obviously, more modes in Stage 1 and tried to diversify itself a little bit. But in today's day and age, a $60 product without a single player or without a significant other component to complement slash supplement your multiplayer is a very difficult ask. A very difficult ask. The, the era of Fortnite has just changed everything and it's so tough to ask for someone to pay retail full MSRP for what essentially is a multiplayer only game with a few little single player tweaks. Now granted they tried to do some things along the way, some were cooler than others, but it, it never had that full single player. The multiplayer, on the other hand, fantastic and unique, and something that you don't get from your typical Fortnite, PUBG, you know, your Battle Royales, or, or your, even your Call of Duty. It was very different. And we have seen some unique multiplayers succeed outside of the traditional Fortnite business model, but more often than not, they are not full price, or they end up also being free to play. Now, the other issue that faced, that Evolve faced, was they had a couple of monsters, some hunters, and big plans to add more. And those plans were announced right from the get-go. So you knew that, hey, you're gonna get another monster. Hey, you're gonna get more hunters. And I think that ooh, that was really rough because people just said, like, hey, if you're planning on doing this, why didn't you just put it in the dang game so we could have it from the start and feel like we had a much more full package? And I, it's hard for me to come up with any sort of rhyme or reason to to argue that point. I, I think it definitely needed more at the start, at its full price point. But I do think that some of the complaints about the DLC, the cost of the DLC, and the roll out of the DLC wouldn't be as big of an issue in 2019. So... You, you, you then look at, hey, we've got this game that probably cost a little more than it should. It's got a lot of real early announced DLC plans, and people are concerned about the amount of content. Now, all of those issues, if I'm being totally blunt, sound like issues that would still be a problem today. People still get bothered about value proposition with the cost. People still get bothered about DLC versus disc. People still get bothered by microtransactions and paying more. So, for me, I've always told myself over the last couple of years that if Evolve came out later, it would have been 
totally fine. And I don't know that I believe that anymore. I don't know that I 100% feel that that's the case. Because the more honest I am, the more I do realize that, hey, this game probably needed a free-to-play model to be successful. And, or, or maybe a, a lower price. So, so if you're telling me I can go back and rewrite some of the history, and I can say that, you know, hey, it, it, it can be a $40 game, or a $30 game, or a $20 game, or, you know, something along that line, or if you, you know, kind of, kind of, I, I, I don't know, allow me to sort of rewrite the way it works a bit, then, then I see it being a, a somewhat of a different story. But if it's the exact same scenario, $60 with the exact same content package, the exact same raw, it probably still struggles just the same. Maybe a little less, maybe a little less, but in some ways maybe a little more. People are so accustomed to how Fortnite has changed the game, for better or worse, whether you like Fortnite or not, it has made a dramatic business model shift in the industry, especially for multiplayer titles. That I don't know that any game trying to do what Evolve did or does would would survive. I'll just let you know, because I'm, I'm kind of proud of that dome. Uh, we do have the... The hunters are being favored, so everything slants in their direction. This is not like favoring the monster or something super easy. We're just, we're just playing pretty good here at Behemoth. Um, I love with the moonstone, how the red, the lava flows through the blue, and then you got that sick red and blue. It's just such a sweet look. I do love the skins in Evolve. So there, there's always the people that love the game and are happy to pay, like us. We're, we're happy to pay, we're happy to buy the skins, we're happy to keep playing, but... I've had a change, and I do think that Evolve would still struggle, because I think the business model for what it was and the content package for what it was just probably wasn't enough. Now, I think there is a hidden third thing here that the game may just have been too difficult and too confusing for the player base, and, and especially for when it came out. I do think that some of the elements of Evolve would be better received. Now, I'm not talking about the DLC or the cost or the content amount, but I'm talking about the, the gameplay. Because, you know, one of the one of the issues, one of the major issues was running into either terrible monsters or terrible hunters that diluted the experience, or, you know, solo lone wolf hunters trying to communicate and it just not working. I feel like some of that would be improved by the fact that now people have a lot more familiarity, I feel, with online games and with skill-based difficult online games. That multiplayer just continues to push forward that the, the the demands of the player, while in some ways are simplified, you know, Fortnite isn't necessarily a simple game. You're building crazy structures. You have to pick up uh, all sorts of, of weaponry and attachments and items and, and know what to keep, what to not, what to use, when to use it. I feel like from that standpoint, maybe Evolve would be, would be, would fare better now. Maybe it was just a little too ahead of its time, like, idea-wise. Now, it would need still, in my opinion, major changes, but I'm curious to know what you think. Do you think that Evolve could just cruise onto the market today with what it had and do better? I guess it's a hard question because for us, it, it did great. We love it. But I'm talking about, like, surviving beyond us playing Stage 2 against AI opponents or even ever needing a Stage 2 at all. And, and some of you may think of this and say, well, maybe if it started with Stage 2, it would have been okay, because I'm mainly talking about Evolve 1.0. I'm talking about on-disc Evolve. And that is where I do fully believe that if Evolve Stage 2 had come out the way that it did, that could have been a very successful product. Because I think what they had with Evolve Stage 2 was awesome. I think they just had burned all of their good faith, and I think people had written off Evolve from a gameplay perspective, from a business model perspective, and just from a, hey, we're just sick of this, the way that they've handled the DLC and everything perspective. So I think you launch Evolve Stage 2 now, and I think that has a chance to do very well. Maybe I'm maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm assuming too much about the player base, and maybe maybe it would still be very difficult. Uh, maybe you couldn't get good hunters to, to pair up against good monsters, but I feel like it would work. I feel like if Stage 2 was the product, I feel like if any Evolve came out that focused on, hey, we are, we are going to be a base game that you can expand with with monsters and skins and customization and it either had a very low barrier to entry or free I feel like that could be awesome because look the idea of being a boss is something that I can't believe more people didn't fall in love with you get to be a boss no game has still come close to doing this none they just haven't 
There's no game that captures the fun, the feel, the raw, just <laughs> overpowered awesomeness of Evolve while still retaining a great balance and a great strategic and, and skill-based battle system. This isn't a case of you just stomping everyone, you know, in a town. This isn't a case of just a, a one-man wrecking crew. It's tough to play the monster. It's tough to win consistently. And the adjustments that Sage 2 made to the gameplay with, you know, everyone being able to trap and, and how they, they change the timing and whatnot. Really great additions. Really great moves. So, I hope that when Evolve comes back, it is received super well. Will it be? I don't know. What will it be like? I don't know. Will they focus on the correct things? Will they find a way to capitalize on what makes Evolve great and forget some of the elements that, that ruined it? You know, I would love to have new monsters debuting all the time. It, it, it wouldn't be Battle Royale, but it could be something that is very, very awesome and exists in its own way. You know, I don't know, like, the numbers on Hunt, but to me, Evolve is a much better game than Hunt. And I think Hunt has seen some decent success. And remember that as much as we say that Evolve did not work so well, remember that the initial sales were strong. Remember this game pushed millions of copies. Remember that 2K was pretty darn happy with the initial sales of Evolve. Was it able to be supported? Not, not as much as they wanted. But this is not a this is not an anthem case. This is not something where like it, it was just a complete incredible disaster. Um, at, at least as far as I know. Now, yes, eventually the player base dipped tremendously, and they had to make huge moves and, and kind of like try to save save it the best way they could so from that standpoint i guess it is similar to anthem but as far as i know like it definitely it didn't have like the instant doom that anthem faced right it, it wasn't an instant no people were still on board for a while correct me if i'm wrong but i feel like i feel like it wasn't like oh this just is not it so let me know your take i'm very curious be reading through the comments i want to know if you guys think evolve would do fine now what changes do you think it would need if you think the idea is still plenty strong, it's just the, the business model, please let me know. What is being reigned supreme? Oh, is that, is that, uh, it's horrible. I was going to say, like, who is, who's doing this nonsense? I do not appreciate that. Let's see if we can lock these guys out a little bit here. Try to get some, uh, Maggie. How are you going to try to revive? You got Daisy here, which is cute, but I'm going to go ham on you. Ugh. Behemoth is just so big with that health bar. It, it fits my playstyle so well, because I don't have to be perfect. I can mess up a little bit. You know, I can get a little goofy, and it all still works out. We're going to wall up. I put the wall in the wrong direction. That's my bad. And let's lick Daisy. Ooh, a little bit of monster kissing for you. Who's bringing out their Evolve Halloween costume? Is it you? Is it me? Halloween is what? Two and a half months away? Luigi's Mansion 3? I can't believe Nintendo's putting on Halloween. They're, they're betraying their Friday release schedule uh, to drop a, drop a game on a Thursday. And this is going to be over for them. Uh, I wish Evolve wasn't over. But I'm glad that we still get to enjoy it and experience it together. That wall got a little bit too shallow there. need to put it a little bit deeper. You know, one thing that Evolve does have going for it is, to me, the, the hands-on controller system feels so good. That was never the issue. So as long as that core is strong and the idea and the excitement is, is top-notch, why couldn't it survive today? What changes would it need? And be honest with yourself, the original, it probably still would have struggled. But Stage 2 or something of the sort could have been an awesome, awesome difference if it just came out a different year. Let me know your take in the comments down below, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, drink some hot chocolate, and we'll see you all later.